Today we're going to run through how to get from Chaturanga to Upward Dog. So a lot of people are struggling with rolling over the toes. It is quite a tricky thing to do. Um, sometimes you have that fear of maybe the toes are going to snap. Um, you don't have to do that though, there are other options. So let's just take a look from here. So we can be in Chaturanga, so we lower down, and then we can simply just come onto the tops of the feet one at a time and push through to upward facing dog. Make sure in upward dog that you're not dumping into the shoulders and the neck. So you need to squeeze the shoulder blades together, almost as if you're trying to pull the body through the arms. So that's your upward dog there, balancing just on the tops of the feet. And then you would roll over the toes as you lift the hips. Again, you can do one at a time. And coming to downward dog, you might need to readjust your feet because maybe you need a shorter stance. So it's fine to readjust your feet, taking them hip distance apart, heels about an inch away from the mat and pressing the body back. Another option, so again from Chaturanga, is you can just, so you push the heels back and then you slide forward, rolling over the toes at the same time and then back over and readjust your feet if you're downward dog. So it's quite a strange thing I suppose to roll over the toes. Um, the other option um, for Chaturanga, a lot of people, because it's a lot of strength in the arms and you need to build that, you know, you can't just have that straight away. So what tends to happen, which is really bad for the back, is people that don't have the strength yet tend to, they can't come down anymore, so they're just dumping down, taking the pressure in the lower back here. So if that's you, if you feel that you're getting to here and then you're just collapsing in the spine, then just take the knees down, it's perfectly fine. So just take the knees down, lower the body here, and then you can tuck the toes, roll through into your upward dog. So I'll just show you that one again. So that would be, um, from Chaturanga, so you drop the knees down, lower the chest, squeeze the elbows in to push the sides of the rib cage, come onto the tops of the feet at this point, and then pull the body through into your upward facing dog. That's quite a nice option, and it builds strength in the arms, so you're still building that strength, you're still getting it, creating muscle memory, ready for when you can do the full Chaturanga. So I'll just show you one more time from the full Chaturanga. So we're here in our plank pose. Squeeze the elbows in, so don't let them come out to the side. Squeeze them in, lower the body down, press the heels back and slide, rolling over the toes onto the tops of the feet. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then back, lifting the hips high. Readjust the feet, hip distance apart, downward dog. Hopefully that's explained it a bit better for you all. Thank you.